directions. Choose the letter of the best answer and write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. Oxygen was scarce during the early development of Earth. By this situation, what kind of organism first existed? A. Aerobic organism B. Anaerobic organism C. Mammal D. Protest Number 2. Which of the following statements is not true on the evolution of multicellular organisms? A. The process of continuous specialization brought more complex organisms B. The prokaryotic organisms that formed multicellular aggregate were like the cells of cyanobacteria C. They are believed to have evolved from single-celled prokaryotic organisms or D. They are formed from other multicellular colonial aggregates through cell specialization. Number 3. Why do you think the emergence of plants and animals came later than simple living organisms? A. The resistance is not that important on Earth. B. Their size is too big that it takes longer time for development. C. The cell structures of these multicellular organisms are more complex. Or D. These organisms are composed of many nucleus compared to unicellular. Number 4. Which statement is incorrect about living organisms? A. The earliest forms of life existed were the prokaryotes. B. The eukaryotic organisms evolved from the unicellular prokaryotic. C. Organisms did not change despite of the changes in the environment. Or D. Evolution of oxygen producing organisms allowed the increase in the atmospheric oxygen. Number 5. Which of the following are in the correct order? A. Eukaryotic cell, photosynthesis, prokaryotic cell, organic molecules. B. Eukaryotic cell, prokaryotic cell, organic molecules, photosynthesis. C. Organic molecules, eukaryotic cell, photosynthesis, prokaryotic cell. Letter D. Organic molecules, prokaryotic cell, photosynthesis, eukaryotic cell. Number 6. What is the evidence for last universal common ancestor among life on Earth? A. All look the same. B. They have similar synthesis pattern. C. All are classified as aerobic organisms. Or D. They share similar molecular features. 7. What unique substance the researchers looked after in their study of eukaryotes? A. Biomarkers B. Fossils C. Mitochondria or D. Estromatolites 8. Which of the following can be considered as a fossil? A. A billion-year-old rack B. A billion-year-old piece of amber C. A billion-year-old amber with a primitive insect inside or D. All the choices are correct. Number 9. Mainly the fossils are found on sedimentary rocks. What type of rocks are stromatolites? A. Igneous B. Metamorphic C. Sedimentary D. Trilobites 10. Which of the following is not true about the evidence that fossils provide? A. All fossils gathered contain intact DNA that can be sequenced. B. Fossil ages can often be determined by testing or by rocks. C. Fossil organisms often share physical similarities with living organisms. Or D. Some fossil organisms are transitional forms between groups of organisms. 11. It was stated that the organisms are evolving. The evolution can be due to environmental changes. More so, the conservation of the traits depends mainly on how they will survive. In this regard, humans alter the natural world, bringing harmful consequences from their activity. Which among the following refers to the alteration brought by humans to the natural environment? A. Environmental issues B. Ecosystem conflict C. Environmental topics D. Human intervention 12. What is the significance of studying molecular evidence present among living organisms? A. It will benefit the economy of the world B. It will give idea for the scientist which to clone 
C. It will then serve as the basis of what to study. Or D. It will allow the classification of living organisms. 13. Over the past several decades, natural selection has caused populations of Cephalococcus aureus to evolve resistance to most antibiotics. What do you think would be the significance of being knowledgeable about the history of this organism towards antibiotics? A. It will just give them background about the microorganism. B. It will just give them idea of increasing the frequency of the organisms. C. It will give an idea of continuing the use of antibiotic against Staphylococcus aureus. Or D. It will give an idea for the medical team to discontinue the use of a particular antibiotic resistant to that microorganism. 14. The study of history of life is indeed significant. As part of searching for the fossils of previous organisms, estromatolite played a significant role. What is true about estromatolite? A. It is found on eukaryotes. B. It is produced by endosymbiosis. C. It is formed during volcanic eruptions. Or D. It consists of layered bacteria and sediment. 15. The following statements are challenges for the researchers in finding and identifying signs of early cells, which is not part of the group. A. Cells are microscopic and most have no parts to fossilize. B. Materials and testing laboratories are not available. C. Slightly younger racks have been heated up and undergone other processes. Or D. Tectonic plate movements have destroyed nearly all rocks older than about 4 billion years.